Good morning. First of all, thank you so much for joining us today. It's exciting. I'm, I'm State Senator Jeff Brandis. And, uh, and about three months ago, we thought about what, what do we, we should do a flood insurance conference. We've been working on this issue for a couple of years and said, let's do a, a, a little flood insurance conference. Let's get you know, 20 or 30, 40 people in a room and begin to have a, a conversation about how we continue to, to move the ball forward in flood insurance. And this was really born out of an idea. Uh, you you're actually happen to be sitting in the most highly subsidized county in the country right now for NFIP policies. To the point where we had, uh, two years ago, uh, policies that were cost $1,000 because of Brigger Waters were now costing $8,000 or $10,000. We had homeowners going to their banks and saying, there's no way I can pay my flood insurance premiums. There's no way I'm going to be able to even sell my house. Uh, I don't even know what the value of my house is now that Burger Waters is in place. And we essentially shut down the real estate market in Pinellas County for six or eight months as we tried to figure out our, our way forward. And so with that, as, a, as an elected official who never thought I would get into the flood insurance business at all, uh, we were thrust into it. And, and um, with the help of, of some of you in this room, we think we've created a fantastic uh, piece of legislation to move forward. And that really becomes part of why we're here today. Uh, and so first of all, I want to say thank you to, uh, to a couple of people that really helped me think through this. First, I want to thank uh, Locke Burt, uh, former State Senator Locke Burt, who many of you know, uh, who, as I was in a panic to figure out what the right, what the right solution was, helped me out. And then uh, Lisa Miller, uh, as well, uh, stepped up and helped out quite a bit. And then I want to thank the team at Guy Carpenter for, for making this happen, Britt, and your team. It, it was amazing, and this would not have happened without your leadership and, and your assistance putting this together. So I really want to say thank you before we begin today for this. Um, it appears like every other conference in America is going on in the same hotel today. So if you get bored, you can go to the engineers next door or the accountants down the hall. Uh, but we're excited to have you here today. I really want to just kind of start by kind of walking you through some of the trends and why we think this is a, a, a great time to, to explore flood insurance for your businesses. First, we think flo flood is a growing trend and, and it's, a, it's a real problem for states like Florida. Florida is 37% of the national flood insurance market. So we are the market for, for flood in, in, in this country. As you can see, we're gonna show you a couple of points here. Just Miami and Tampa Bay alone are almost, uh, almost half a, it's about $500 billion worth of flood insurance risk in just those two markets in a 100 year storm. And I think that's a, that's a pretty incredible statistic and a, and a pretty incredible dollar amount as we have to deal with. The second trend I think you're going to see and in, in why this makes it an interesting conversation in the last 40 years is that advancements in computer technology are really allowing us to, to look at this risk in a new way. Uh, the reason we got into this business 40 years ago, uh, the NFIP was essentially created uh, because private insurers couldn't figure out how to write the risk of flood. And so uh, it's exciting that now we have the technology to move forward by doing the, the data and analytics necessary to transition uh, back into the private market. And we think that that's, uh, that's going to happen. Here's just a slide showing you of the cost over time of data. So some of my staff are believe that they're already in 2023. Uh, and, and that they've surpassed the, the, all the power of, of all the mines in America, or all the mines in the world. But just to show you a couple of slides here on that. Three, we think that there, the investors are finding insurance risk attractive, and we think this is a, a new market for, for them as well. Under pension management, you have about $30 trillion under pension management now looking for new markets to go into, and we think fl uh, flood insurance is a green field for them. And finally, you can see that mounting losses, constraints have reduced the government's appetite for flood insurance risk. So as we look at the chart of what's happened here in flood insurance over the last few years, 
No one has to tell you that Hurricane Katrina and Superstorm Sandy have rocked uh, FEMA and, and the NFIP to its core to the point now where they have a $23 billion hole in the NFIP. And so the opportunity for us to write products uh, when their rates are going to go up at 18% for primary residents or 25% for second homes on top of a $250 premium uh, 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 surcharge for second homes, we think the time is right to, for you all to explore the flood insurance market. So with that, we passed uh, in, in, uh, in this year, July 1 of this year, we passed Senate Bill uh, 1094. And it was really intended to strengthen the private market in, in new and interesting ways. It gives the private marketplace the flexibility to compete and to, and to come in at lower premiums. And our goal is to have 10 private insurers or more in Florida selling flood insurance in the next 24 months. And with your, your help, we think we're going to get there. So with that, that's really my opening uh, discussion. And I want to introduce Brian Kuhn with the Department of Emergency Management for his perspective on this topic. So thank you so much. Excited to have you here. <laughs> 